most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living in retirement with having when I usually talk to young people who approach me on the college campus when I'm sitting down doing work most of the time they're pretty polite they walk up and say hey can I talk to you or they walk up and they try to ply me with a little cash to make sure I have enough food or money for food on campus and I really appreciate that it's a loving kindness and a support for my ministry and what I always do with that is I always donate a little bit of that money that I'm gifted to someone else who's in need and that is my principle that is what I do in the philosophical aspect of my philanthropy but in life we have to bring about life balance and life balance comes from about seven or eight different areas of conceptual aspects of our life and if I don't say things exactly right it's because I've got a lot of distractions a lot of people walking by a lot of people with cool t-shirts on and that's just my guy I am somewhat one of those distractible Sammy the squirrel types but that's okay what I'm talking to you about today is life balance and life balance always begins with faith and if you don't pick a partner who has a faith that's similar to yours or that can light your fire in your own faith for yours you're likely to be miserable most of your life you see it's faith that keeps couples together it's faith that brings people together it's faith that repairs relationships when there's a argument or a hatred or something like that and it's only faith that has the principles of the world that really makes sense for a loving peaceful prosperous world in life the next area of course is family and that is family not necessarily of origin it is truly the family of choice we learn about this in all the principles of the world that people usually go into adulthood find someone to mate with to stay with to play with and openly that becomes their family of choice their extended friends their colleagues and their network of people they spend most of their time with then become their extended family their additional family members and while they might still have an occasional get together with their family of origins if there's a lot of sibling sets or if their parents are like that or if there's multiple steps and in-laws and whatnot but usually those people are not in their daily life every single day every single minute to know what's going on in their life oftentimes they're intruders of that life and that's sad to say but it is truthful in every way after that we of course have our fitness and our fitness involves a lot of privacy issues a lot of private information with regard to our medical rights are often conducted in the public sector right now in political spectrums they're being talked a lot right now but they're really nobody's business our private life with regard to our finances our legacies and really our lethalities in a way but I don't mean that in jest I just mean that when you push yourself into areas of privacy in other people's lives when you're really not welcome there you really are taking a risk you're taking a risk to the relationship and you're taking a risk to you on top of fitness of course we go into some sort of aspect of finance and finance of course is our employability our employability or our resourcefulness and our resourcefulness is what is needed in order to build a business a successful business is considered a success by most people in the business world after five years for any small business or independent business professional that if they've been in business for at least five years then they sort of got the hang of what they're doing they sort of figured things out and they're sort of making a decent living it doesn't mean that all the time but it's usually what that means that the person has really not exactly succeeded but at least is surviving and possibly thriving beyond of course finance becomes things like fellowship and others aspect of friendship that are of course related to how we spend our free time what we do on the weekends how we plan to use our time outside of the work we do to provide for our living of course the last area is called philanthropy we swipe in the sound of the F from the PH and we put that in there because everyone has some sort of issue some sort of idea some sort of agenda some sort of initiative that they like to contribute extra time resources or finances to 